I kind of got into this whole topic by accident. When I turned 18, um, the driving age in the UK, I really was a terrible driver and got a large number of parking tickets. After about the fourth ticket, my parents were fed up. They told me I was on my own and I had to pay for my own fines. But the problem was I couldn't afford a lawyer and, um, or to pay the fines, so I had to figure out ways to get the tickets dismissed. I trawled through hundreds of pages of obscure government documents looking for the top reasons why these parking tickets should be cancelled. After some initial success, it wasn't long before all my family and friends were asking for my help. I quickly became the local parking guru of my area. But it quickly became obvious that instead of helping everyone individually, I should create some sort of automated system to help people en masse. When I spoke to some lawyers in London about what they thought about the idea of a lawyer robot, some were more polite than others, but every single one said it was silly and would never work. But thinking it would be a cool side project, I decided to create it anyway and name the bot Do Not Pay. It first asked the user a few questions about their parking ticket to find out the legal defense, such as a parking bay that's too small. It then asked to find out the details and then places these details in a legally sound document, which can be sent directly to the government. Now, when I created this, it was really just to impress a few friends, I, and I could never have imagined that just six months later, do not pay would take the legal world by storm. In just under a year, it, it has successfully appealed over 180,000 parking tickets, saving motorists an estimated $5 million. All of a sudden, the same lawyers that had rejected me were now phoning up, offering to acquire the website. All of this made me realize that the idea of using bots to help people with automated legal issues is bigger than just parking tickets. I decided to expand to other areas of the law. I started by going after the airlines. In Europe, if your flight is delayed by more than a couple hours, you can claim lots of compensation but lawyers were charging huge commissions to get this. I thought that this was unfortunate, so I incorporated this functionality into my robot. It is completely free, because unlike its human equivalent, it doesn't require a salary. Unfortunately, because I was helping users with parking tickets and delayed flights, they assumed I could help them with everything. Users began contacting me, asking for help with repossessions and evictions. I felt particularly bad not being able to help people with these issues, especially since they were being made homeless. I later learned that in the UK, we had this really broken system. Instead of helping the homeless directly, gov the government in the UK pays lawyers huge sums of money to file an application on behalf of someone which gets sent back to the government. This seemed like something that needed to be fixed.